Ooh, what's going on here? Can I help you? Okay, that was scary, but you know, it could be worse. It's not like the world's ending. Oh, okay, sorry. That's on me, guys. That's my bad. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow, well, I suppose I should say, Armored Core fans from Soft Aficionados and General Soul Hopefuls. How exciting is this? It might not be Elden Ring DLC, but make no mistake, this is equally ridiculously awesome. A new Armored Core, the rumors are true, it is confirmed, and oh, it looks good. Granted, we've only been given a cinematic trailer that adds a little bit of context to the world and what's happening, but... It is one of the most badass things I've ever seen. This is Armored Core 6, The Fires of Rubicon. And fires is definitely the case. My word, apocalyptic. So last Armored Core was 10 years ago. And the series have been heading in the direction that a lot of players weren't the happiest with, despite it still having a much-loved following. Because, I mean, it's badass mech shenanigans and everybody likes badass mech shenanigans but it seems like this one is potentially soft reboot territory i mean they're literally deleting the world and starting over and if anything's going to give them an excuse to essentially remake the gameplay ground up retune it for a audience that's 10 years moved on this is the time there has been rumblings that it might end up a lot more souls like and i could totally see that happening especially uh, with, well, the huge success of Elden Ring, and let's be honest, that's kind of what people are clamoring for. And an armored core taking uh, the uh, mechs and uh, the glory and the combat in a soul's direction, making it more intense and deliberate in that sense, that's really cool. I can't claim to be the most experienced armored core in the world. I have played a few of them, but my memory has long since faded. But that is not stopping this being a ridiculous ridiculously exciting announcement and look let's be honest at this point a game by from software is something to be hype about they are let's be real masters of their craft and if we do get an armored car the world of it rebooted anew a more soulsy twist but with the fundamentals still there that made people fall in love with it in the first place that is going to be incredibly satisfying and this is one to keep your eye on it is one to watch and it is one that i certainly will be watching with how the last game sort of just ended and then nothing for so many years i mean it feels like the world does need to wash away in flame to make way for some brand new mech goodness and oh my goodness it really really is just that so we're getting it next year no specific date or time but i imagine it'll be more later year than early year in any case this is something really cool and well now you guys are aware too let me know what you think especially any of you that are way into armored car that have played it a lot down below what are you thinking would you even like it if it went more soulsy and for anyone who hasn't played armored core and is like oh from software game mix okay i mean what do you feel like in a world of souls-esque or at least more closely thematic inspired but more futuristic apocalyptic mech combat i mean both options are really full of exciting potential let's see what happens as we look forward to the first gameplay i also apologize if i've sounded a bit weird and there's less bells and whistles on this video as the normally is i am currently away and i am doing my best and that's all i can ask for it's not like the world's gonna end oh yeah i completely i completely somehow forgotten about that. Alright then guys, a follow-up video will be appearing very shortly, going over everything with Armored Core context, all the nitty gritty details, everything we've spotted, every secret, everything that you would want to know what's actually going to go on with this game, so look out for that. For now then, like you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes i said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye